There's a huge truth about retirement that I'm not hearing anybody talk about. It's a harsh reality, but it doesn't have anything to do with money or health or happiness. Now, it blindsided me, and I pride myself on being a relatively self-aware person who does all kinds of personal development, and I still didn't see it coming. The good news is, is I'm not going to make you wait until the end of the video to tell you what it is, because there's only the one thing. I've been retired since 2020. I was 52 when I collected my last paycheck, but it wasn't until very, very recently that I discovered this huge, ugly truth. I'm going to tell you about it, and then let's talk about some ways to overcome it. The truth is, all of the things that you keep telling yourself that you would do if you only had the time to do them, when you're retired, guess what? You can't use that as an excuse anymore. And if when you retire, you don't start doing those things, you really have to ask yourself why. Is it because there are things you actually don't really want to do? Or is there something holding you back? Something you need to figure out to get you where you want to go? There's a saying that goes something like, if you leave people to do what they want to do, you'll find out what they would rather be doing. I don't know who this quote is from. I tried to look it up, couldn't find a source. And up until now, I've been applying that saying to other people in my life. But now I'm really turning the mirror around and seeing I could apply that to me too. Now that I have all this time on my hands, what am I doing with it? Am I doing the things that I thought I would do because I just needed more time? Guess what? I'm not. And for some context, some of my things that I thought I would be doing once I had all the time in the world to do them are taking a daily walk, going to the gym three times a week, writing that book I've always wanted to write, taking time to prep meals and make healthier choices with my eating. And the list goes on. Now, I could be doing all of those things, but guess what? I'm not doing any of them. I'm not doing any of them. So time to ask yourself, for me to ask myself, why not? Why aren't I doing these things? It's time to put in the work. And now I am by no means an expert. I'm not a counselor. I'm not a therapist. I'm not a self-help expert. I am not any of those things. All I can do is share with you how I'm going to approach it and hope that it helps you think about how you would approach it given this situation. And the way that I go about thinking about these things is that I kind of back up and start from the beginning. I start with reminding myself about what my personal values are and what my life principles are. And if you haven't done in any of this work or, or thought about these things before, I highly suggest a book by Ray Dalio called Principles. Um, I'll put a link in the description where you can check that out. And once I've reminded myself of those things, then I think about what it is I want my life to look like in one year, in five years, in 20 years. And I picture it very, with a lot of detail. I think about it in as much detail as possible. Where am I physically? Who am I with? What do I look like? What do I feel like? As many details as you can come up with. What are my activities? And once you have a sense of that, then you work backwards. Okay, so if I want to be, you know, an XYZ place doing ABC things, and feeling like this, and surrounded by these kinds of people. What do I need to do to get there and work backwards? What are the steps necessary? And working all the way back until you get to the first doable thing for you now. What's your first baby step? What's your next baby step? And what's the next step after that? And what's the next step after that? And that way you can start working towards that end now, even if it's just in very little steps, you're still making progress. Now, what if there was something that you've told yourself all along, if I only had time to do this, I would do it. And now you're not doing it. What if you realize 
you don't actually want to do that thing anymore. That's not actually who you are anymore. And, and things have changed bonus. Nice to check that off the list. You don't have to worry about it anymore. You don't have to beat yourself up about it anymore. But if you do still want to do whatever it is that you have on your list and you're just not, you have to think about why. What are the barriers? What's keeping you from doing it? Keep asking yourself why. Working through these kinds of questions can very often, as you peel back the onion, lead to some really deep, dark, very personal realizations of yourself and your habits and your desires. And this work is sometimes called shadow work. It's shadow work, if you haven't heard the term before, is a process by which you recognize and acknowledge the parts of yourself that you don't want other people to see, the parts that you don't want to admit to, which are very often the things that are holding us back from achieving the things that we want to in life. So shadow work can be really, really important. You might even do some of this work with help from a therapist, but you can do some of it on your own as well. So really start asking yourself questions. Why am I not doing this? What's holding me back? And then when you think you have an answer or another excuse or another reason, ask yourself, yeah, but why? Why is that? And so this is the quick and dirty, right? This is, this is not a, a, going to be an hour long video on how to dig deep into your shadow life to change your behaviors, to miraculously change your life. It's a call out. When you retire, you have more time on your hands. And when you have time on your hands and you're still not doing all of the things that you said you wanted to do, if you only had time, the only thing to do is to turn around, turn that mirror around and look at yourself and ask why. And if you'd like a little bit of help thinking through some of the questions you need to think about in order to do this work, drop me a comment below and I'll send you a link to a PDF that you can download that will help you start to work through some of these questions for yourself. And if you'd like to know my thoughts on five of the biggest myths of retirement, watch this next video. I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much.